OpenStack has really become the focal point for the open source community to deliver an open source cloud. A cloud, um, in this sense, is infrastructure as a service. So it's a platform that people can then deploy services on top of. OpenStack is not only an infrastructure as a service uh, tool, it's the uh, open source project that has gotten the biggest growth ever in such a short time. Um, 150 major key players in the uh, cloud space have gathered together to answer the needs that they had into cloud computing. That makes OpenStack not only an open source project, but also the source of innovation in the cloud space for infrastructure as a service. OpenStack is uh, early stage technology, but it's actually matured quite a bit, and it's in fact running some of the biggest clouds in the world today, uh, such as Rackspace and HP Cloud, and, and, and many more, in fact. One of the classic uh, analogies used in open source as far as comparing development models of software is the cathedral and the bazaar, where the cathedral is sort of this monolithic, top-down driven development where you have a single organization that's putting out a product and then sending it out to, to its users. The bazaar is much more of an organic system where you have lots of independent actors interacting with each other and with the, the, the ecosystem to create a, a product that is what you as a user have much more say in interacting with it and changing it and shaping it. Um, OpenStack, as far as cloud computing goes, is the bazaar. It is the leading consortium of vendors, of Fortune 500 companies, of all the leading industry vendors across the field from OEMs, ODMs, consultants, um, providers, and integrators. The special things about OpenStack really are, um, I think, the, the bringing together of very complementary technologies under uh, an, an umbrella that has the support of many different organizations. It's fair to say that OpenStack uh, was born of a need to have very robust and scalable infrastructure upon which to, to to create cloud services. The people that, of course, want to deploy uh, cloud at scale are uh, service providers, public cloud providers, but they can also be very large institutions uh, that have large compute requirements or, or large service requirements. So in that sense, it can be a private cloud too. And that's because of the openness, it's because of the robustness, it's because of the scalability that it provides and the compatibility with a huge uh, uh, range of different software applications. I, I like personally to think that uh, a better definition of what OpenStack is, uh, is the fabric that uh, allows to build virtual data center on demand with as little uh, time between idea and realization. Limiting the time to market is what OpenStack uh, is about. It's great news for the enterprise that open source software that they can use inside of the data center is the same software that, they, that is being used by public cloud vendors. Because in one very simple step, it solved the problem of interoperability between the cloud provider and their own data center.